Alright, welcome back everyone to Police Simulator. We're back here again today in Brighton City, and today we're going to be doing a evening shift patrol in the new Fast Pursuit vehicle today. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go and jump on into it and see what we can find today. Highway accident. Let's go ahead and take that call. Oh, listen to this thing purr. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, this thing is kind of sick. They've got, like, a feature in it where you can, like, launch. It's got, like, uh, nitrous or something. I don't know. It's got, like, some speed boost. So as soon as I get some open highway here... Okay, up here's the crash, so I probably shouldn't hit it. <laughs> okay, looks like it's going to be semi-trucks, but I am definitely going to try and use that um, in the future. Uh, let's go ahead and lock up this highway here. It looks like it's going to be two semi-trucks and a passenger car. Let's go ahead and shut down the whole interstate entirely, though, because I do not want collateral damage and just people just slamming into this accident. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And stop. No more. That's all we're doing. We're going to stop right there. We're shutting down this I highway the completely. Location. I'm prepared to handle the situation. Oh, we got a fire. Let's go ahead and go get our fire extinguisher and put that out before we start investigating, because we got a bunch of people on the side of the highway, so I had to stop that traffic. Now let's go handle this fire before we continue. Run, 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 run. I have a vehicle on fire here. I will take care of it. All right, let's get rid of this fire here. All right. Now that we've gotten this scene pretty much under control, I want to go and look at my car a little bit <laughs> because it looks cool. I've got one of the new skins on it as well, um, which came out with the new skin pack DLC not too long ago. Um, so let's go take a look at it. This thing looks really sick. I might try and do this at night sometime. And I might try and do like the uh, undercover car on this as well. Like the black and the white might look kind of cool with it without the light bar. It just looks like a nice sports car driving down at night and you wouldn't suspect it to be a cop car. So it might be pretty good for an undercover patrol. Let me know if you guys want to uh, see that in the future at all. So let's go ahead and start focusing on this accident. Let's talk to this guy first. He looks hammered, man. Let me know what you saw. I lost control of my car. I, I admit it, officer. All right. Well, what caused you to lose control? That'd be a better way of, <laughs> with better some better information, man. Show me your driver's license and, if available, proof of insurance, please. Yes, officer. There you go. All right. Let's take a look here. No gun permit. He's been convicted of identity theft. He's gotten some uh, tickets and some warnings as well. Otherwise, it looks good. But he looks drunk. So, we need to make sure he's not driving under the influence, make sure he's safe to drive. So let's do a couple tests on him. I'm just him. taking a sample to see if you've been drinking and driving. Oh yeah, under the influence of alcohol. Not a huge shocker there. Let's go ahead and do a drug test on him as well. I'll take a sample to check if you've taken drugs before driving. Alright, he's good there. Well, man, unfortunately, you're going to be uh, placed under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol because you arrest. cannot be doing that. Oh, please don't do that. I don't really need to, need to explain to you why that's a big no-no. All right, let's go and search him. Make sure you don't have any Put weapons or any slowly, illegal please. items on him. You. He does not have a gun permit, so if we find a firearm on him or in his vehicle, we'll unfortunately have to take him in. He does have three quarters of an ounce of marijuana on him, though, so we'll have to... Make sure that his car doesn't have any more than, you know, that as well. If he has more than an ounce, we're going to take him in. Uh, let's see. His vehicle is a four-door vehicle. License plate 6VNJ37. So let's go look for that plate. Uh, looks like it's going to be this vehicle. Perfect. All right, well, let's search this car. Make sure you don't have anything in it. There's a handgun, so we'll be charging him for that. Oh, search the same door. So finicky, these these doors, I swear. Alright, so we'll definitely be charging him with that handgun. As long as we don't find any more marijuana, he should be good to go there. It's definitely just what he has on him. He's got a personal amount, so... But if we find anything in the car, and it's more than an ounce, then we'll definitely have to charge him for it, unfortunately. Alright. What we got on this side? Anything? Pocketbook. Interesting. Last door.
All right, he's good to go. Go ahead and tack on that handgun, and that's this guy done. You're under arrest for committing numerous crimes. Please move on to the sidewalk. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't know there were so many. All right, you hang out, man, because um, we still got to give him his accident report. We have two semi drivers, and then we've got that taxi driver. So let's go talk to this guy. I have a feeling this is his taxi, or his taxi is a semi truck. But it could also be. I feel like this is the semi truck right here. This guy drives the taxi cab, and this is the semi truck driver. So let's do the truck drivers last. I want to do the taxi guy next. My vehicle just burned down. What should I do? I hope the insurance will pay for it. Uh, insurance will definitely probably cover that. Now, it's probably totaled, so it may not be as much as you're wanting, but <laughs> the, that's between you and the insurance company, man. But yeah, this is definitely the guy that drives the taxi, so let's go ahead and interview him. Tell me what you saw. I'm still recovering from the crash. My mind is blank. Yes, it is. ID and vehicle insurance card, please. Here you go, officer. Alright, I think this is, yep, it's a stolen ID. He gave me a female's license, so we'll definitely have to charge him for that. Let's go and give that back to him. Let's go take a look at this taxi cab. Let's run the plate on it, um, just to see if we can find out who he actually is. Okay, so here's the license plate. This is actually the gentleman that we're talking to, not the license that we just ran that he gave. He gave me a female license. Um, so he's been convicted of DUI alcohol insurance fraud and driving without a license. And he's getting some, he's gotten some verbal warnings as well. So um, he's got a driver's license. He don't have a warrant. So I don't really understand why he just gave me someone else's ID. That's the dumbest criminal move I've ever seen, man. <laughs> Let's make sure you're safe to drive. All right. I'm just collecting a sample to check if you've had any alcohol while driving. Uh, he has had some alcohol tonight, or this afternoon, but not enough to arrest him on. Uh, let's go ahead and do a drug test. Please allow me to collect a sample to see if you're under the influence of any drugs. Okay, good to go there. Alright, man. Well, we're going to place you under arrest for handing us a uh, stolen ID. You're under arrest. Are you sure that those are all offenses? Doesn't everybody do them? No, everybody doesn't just go and hand, well, in this game it does, so yes, yeah, to answer your question, yes, everybody in this city does do that. <laughs> I have to search you. Kindly cooperate with me. In the real world, though, no, no. People are not dumb enough to just hand police officers a stolen ID. And he's got a handgun, so that's another charge. So let's go and tack that on, because he did not have a gun permit. The reason why you're under arrest is because you have committed multiple felonies. Please step to the sidewalk. There are a lot of liability reasons. Are you sure you didn't make a mistake? I don't make mistakes, sir. I'm the best police officer you've ever seen. All right, let's go ahead and search his towel. Wait, nope, I can't search his taxi because it's on. It was burned everything up, so there's really nothing to search. So he's good to go. Um, so we're done investigating him. So now we can move on to our semi-truck driver. So let's go and talk to this lady next. Let me know what you saw. I'm still in shock. I, I need to get my head right. You're still in shock. You need to get your head right. All right. Driver's license and insurance card, please. Yeah, sure, officer. All right. No registration and no gun permit. Just given some verbal warnings for driving without a license, or driving without insurance, rather, and fair to yield. Well, I'll give her a warning on the registration. Um, she doesn't have, like, a bad record or anything, so... And I don't give out warnings too often, so let's give her a warning. Let's be nice today. Let's just give her a verbal warning. Um, now, if she didn't have insurance, I'd definitely give her a ticket for that because, you know, you have to have, you know, insurance to drive. So I'm not quite sure why she got a warning on that. That's, that should have been a ticket. You don't give warnings on that. But we'll give her a warning on the license plate, um, and then we'll go and do some tests on her, make sure she's safe to drive. I'm going to give you just a verbal warning this time. This is the best thing that happened to me today. Thank you. All right, let's make sure you're safe to drive. Let's do a couple tests. While I take a sample to check if you're drunk. Now, she's a semi-truck driver, so she cannot have anything in her system, which is great because she does not. So even if she had like a .001, like just the minuscule amount, 
going to jail, 100%. Cannot have an ounce of alcohol in your system if you're driving a semi-truck. You'll take a test to see if you've been driving under the influence of drugs. All right, she seems clean. Everything's good. I have no reason to search her. I have no reason to search her semi, so she is good to go. So let's go and talk to this lady next. Or I guess it's a gentleman. We'll talk to this gentleman next. Let me hear what you see. See what he's got to say. Person was driving left, and right, all, over the road. all over the road, huh? Well, he's been un he's been arrested for DUI, so don't worry about him. Let's just go ahead and get your ID. I'd like to see your ID and car insurance, please. Here you go, officer. Uh, and there it is. He gave us a stolen ID as well. So he's over here pointing the finger, and he's you know committing crimes as well. Gotta love it. All right, let's look at this plate. Let's go ahead and see who this gentleman is. So this is the guy. His ID is expired. He has no gun permit. He has no registration. He's been convicted of vehicle theft, the DUI cannabis, and he's got a big record, man. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's make sure you're safe to drive, man. All right. I'm just collecting a sample to check if you've had any alcohol while driving. All right. Well, you're not drunk, so that's good. Let's make sure you don't have any drugs in your system. I'm just collecting a sample to see if you've used any drugs while driving. All right. Well, he is clean. Uh, stolen ID. Let's see, I think we could also do not missing driver's license. Uh, I guess we give him a ticket for that, right? Go to driver, expired ID, ticket. Go to drive, no, not driving car, expired license plate ticket. I'm going to cuff you now. Please then move to the side. Racking up them are points, you sure man. That those are all offenses. Doesn't everybody do them? No, sir. Nobody does what you do. Let's go ahead and search you. Make sure you don't have any weapons on you. Search on you to Nothing see if illegal. Anything illegal. And we've got that's three arrestees just off of a crash. Switchblade and a handgun. I don't think he had a gun permit. Nope, he didn't. So we're going to be charging him for carrying a switchblade and carrying a gun without a permit. You've committed several crimes. You're being arrested. Cooperate and move to the sidewalk. So many citations. I didn't know that all those actions were illegal. All right, let me go and get up a lot of this debris. Let's go take some pictures. Let's see if we can get this progress bar up, and uh, then I guess we can start handing out um, some of those uh, accident reports. So let's go ahead and get our camera out. Let's take some pictures. Let's get all this uh, documented and picked up, and we'll see if we can get that progress bar full. All right, that's all the pictures. We already got a full progress bar, and I even picked up any of the debris. And I don't think I searched this semi truck. Let's see. I think. Let's see. Let's look at this guy's ID again. Uh, yeah. I don't think I searched this semi truck. I want to go ahead and search this thing, just to see if we can find anything in the semi truck and tack on any other charges. So, uh, here he's got another switchblade, but I think we already charged him for that one switchblade, right? I think that was this guy. Uh, I'm escorting whoops. you to the police car. Go ahead and liability. Yeah, okay, we already tacked on all that, so he's already been charged for the switchblade. Let's go ahead and we'll search the passenger door, see what we can find over here. Uh, another switchblade. Go ahead and search the back now, see what we can find back here. Hopefully, no illegal goods, but if he does, and we'll just charge him for that as well. Oh, he's got drug paraphernalia. I think I can charge him for that. I think it might be glitched still. Let's see. Uh, yes. It is glitched. Because there should be like a semi-truck icon. It's kind of like... Every, I don't know why, but every time... If they get in an accident... If they're not out of... If they're out of the semi-truck, it doesn't like... Recognize them as the driver of the semi-truck anymore. So it's... <laughs> It's like, if I find a switchblade in there, I can still charge him with it, but if I find drug paraphernalia, that's like a specific menu that's just disappeared for whatever reason, so... Can't charge him for that, unfortunately, but let's go ahead and pick up some debris, get all this stuff cleaned up. Then we can go and start handing out some accident reports, get some tow trucks out of here, um, and get all this cleaned up, and we'll be on our way. Uh, I think that should be everything. Oh, we got a license plate right here. Last one. 
Um, I think we're going to call uh, some transport units as well, because uh, this is too many people to deal with right now. All right, here's your accident report. A well-documented and exhaustive report. Thank you, officer. All right, let's get a transport. Backup requested to take a suspect into custody. I repeat, backup requested. Understood. The closest available unit will be dispatched to your location. All right, let's go ahead and start clearing out here. We need to get out of the way of traffic so we can get these uh, cars out of the out of the street. So, got a big long line of cars out here. So, good stuff. So, with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and let traffic clear up. Get this tow truck out of here. Uh, get these people off the street as well, and then we'll jump back out and patrol, and we'll see how else we can find today. We have identified a wanted suspect driving a vehicle. They are in wanted driver. See, we got a van. White van. Chad is the owner. Freaking Chad. <laughs> uh, let's see. License plate is a 0MEB30. So he's about 500 meters away too. So it does look like he's in the city. We have come down to the city. I uh, just wanted to get a little change of scenery. Uh, so let's go over here and let's go see if we can find this guy. Or gal or whoever. I, don't know, I guess if it's a guy, <laughs> his name's going to be Chad. So I'm assuming it's a gentleman, but we'll see we get up here all right we're working our way up here I don't think it's this van but I do believe it's this van right here in front of us this looks like a guy named Chad <laughs> and that is the license plate so we're gonna go ahead and stop this van here see if we can initiate a traffic stop oh he's gonna run gonna be kind of hard uh, hit a car with this vehicle because I don't have a ram bar or anything. Oh man, he's driving all over the place. He's not going to get away from me though. I'm in the fastest car in the game right now. He is not getting away. Oh, he just crashed. Oh crap. Let's see if we can stop him here. Oh, he's getting out. Get the gun out. What are you doing? What in the hell? He just... <laughs> Just slammed into the freaking. Let's put him in handcuffs for fleeing. You've resisted law enforcement orders. I have to arrest. That you. was so Please weird. Cooperate and move to the sidewalk. Please don't do that. Now, if they're gonna do that, the game needs. They need to add to where he like takes off running out of the car, like flees. I've never seen that where they've ran into something, just stopped and gotten out. That's the that's the first for me. That'd be pretty cool if they can incorporate them running on foot after that. Wow, that was that was weird. He just slammed into the tree and just got out and just stood there on his phone. That's very very oh, odd. Obstructing traffic on the road. I'm not Plus available at the moment. The All right, let's make sure you don't have any weapons on him. Please cooperate for a search procedure. A switchblade, a handgun, and a cucumber. Interesting selection there, my man. <laughs> Let's get his ID. ID. Let's see if he's got any. If available, please. Here you go, officer. See if he's got any warrants. See if he's uh, allowed to carry that handgun before we go and charge him for it. ID's expired. He does have another warrant, so that would probably be why he's running. So we'll go ahead and charge him uh, for just the switchblade because he does have a gun permit. Charge him for a switchblade, open warrant, give him a ticket for the insurance and the ID. I smell alcohol. Well, I wish it would let me do an alcohol test on him because it's not going to do that. But that's all right. Let's go ahead and charge him. We're having an open warrant. The switchblade. We'll go and give him a ticket for his ID and for the insurance. You're under arrest for all the crimes you've committed. So many citations. I didn't know that all those actions were illegal. All right. What a piece of work, man. What a piece of work. I did not think he was just going to step out. I was expecting him to take off again. There's no way you could lose a pursuit in this car, though. Like, the car is so quick. There's another switchblade in there. That's kind of insane. The car is super quick, man. Um, after this call, I'm going to go out to the highway again. I'm going to you know, just stand at a standstill, and then you can kind of have like a 0 to 60 in this car. Have like a super speed boost. So we're going to try that here in just a minute. I did a little bit off camera and it's pretty cool if you can control it. 
All right, he had a quarter of an ounce of marijuana in the car, but that's in the legal limit, so he's good. I have a car here that needs towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. Backup requested to take a suspect into custody. I repeat, backup requested. Copy that. The nearest available unit will be sent to your current location. All right, well, that's been taken care of. Good stuff. All right, well, we'll wait here for the responding unit to get here, for the tow truck to get here as well. Looks like he's already here. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and jump back out on patrol. Maybe on the highway, so we can test out this little uh, feature that they got. And uh, yeah, we'll see what else we can find today. So if you look there on the bottom, it's got the controls. So for the console, at least, it's the left joystick. We're going to press that, but you have to be at a standstill when you do it. So let's go ahead and press it. It's going to launch us up to about 70 miles an hour in about probably two seconds. Uh, we got a roadblock. We're going to accept that. We're going to have to turn around this way. So let's just turn around and let's launch this way. So if you're at a standstill, let's say somebody flees from a traffic stop or something, you can jump back to your car, click this button. You can get up to speed super quick. And now you're basically going as fast as they would be when they took off, so... That's kind of sick. A lot of cars in this game get up to speed really slowly, like especially the SUVs because they're just bigger cars, so this is just a really, really, really nice feature. It's a nice car in general just because it looks sick. <laughs> But that's kind of cool. Definitely be using this a lot more in the future. So we got a fleeing car. We're going to go up here and set up some spike strips for it. Let's go ahead and cut our siren off. And we'll go ahead and jump into position here. Try and block off one lane of traffic here. Maybe two lanes. Let's block off two lanes. And that'll give us a, an easy way to throw down the spike strips right here in between these lanes here. Let's go ahead and get the spike strips out of our back trunk here. Full spike strips. Beautiful. And okay, so it's going to be a white SUV. Uh, yep, here it comes. Got to wait till that red car passes. All right, here it comes. Spike it. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. He's still fleeing, though. He's still fleeing. Oh, he spun out. I'm going to have to go back and uh, get those spike strips here in a minute. Let's go ahead and jump out here. Step out get out of the car. Slowly. Close the door but and I'm raise your hands above your head. Uh, you can talk to your lawyer. Okay, so she's getting down on her face, which is good. Let's go ahead and move in here. Try and place her in handcuffs for fleeing. You are under arrest for resisting law enforcement orders. Please move to the sidewalk. Oh, come on. You must be kidding me. Nope, not kidding you in the slightest. I'm going to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. I need you. to do a search on you to see if you're carrying anything illegal. Get her ID and everything. Kind of see why she's fleeing. Could be a warrant. Could be a lot of stuff. I'm focused on another issue at the moment. Alright, nothing on her. It's legal. Let's get her ID. I need to go get those spike strips so I don't yes, spike a random go. civilian. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at her ID. And she does have a warrant, so that's why she's running. She's been convicted of selling narcotics, so we'll definitely uh, charge her for that. Um, we'll search her car, make sure she don't have any guns on her, because she does not have a gun permit. We'll give her a ticket for the insurance as well. So let's go ahead and tack on those two charges, at least, that we can. She looks nervous. Well, you should be. You're in handcuffs now. There's nothing you can do about it at this point. Tack on that, and then we'll go and give her a ticket for the invalid insurance. The reason why you're under arrest is because you have committed multiple felonies. Please step to the sidewalk. Okay, you handcuffed me, but is it really necessary to give me more charges? Well, you do it to yourself, lady. I don't want to hear it. There you go walk onto the sidewalk. I gotta go get those spike strips in just a minute. I can't forget those. She does have a handgun in the car, so it's glad glad we found that. We'll charge her for that. Found something illegal here. What do we find? Switchblade, so we'll charge her for that too. He's just running up a big old tab on her charges here. All right, what we got back here? Another switchblade. Holy crap! This lady's insane. Earphones. Okay. Okay, nothing there. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, well, let's get a tow truck for this thing. I have a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? Go ahead and tack on those two charges. You've committed many prior crimes. That's why you're under arrest. Wow, 
you could arrest me for all these reasons? I'm sorry. All right, let me go get these spike strips real quick before I forget about it. Actually, she's going to disappear if I do that because I've had that happen. Let's just go ahead and call a transport for her. I need backup to take a subject into custody. And then let's go get those spike strips. <laughs> Can't leave those spike strips, man, because I'll be on another call and then I'll randomly start losing points. Like that, because the freaking responding unit ran over the spike strips. Crap, man. I just spiked a cop. Uh, I should note to self, pick them up before you go after the suspect. Oh, that sucks. All right, let's just block this here. Let's go pick these up. Uh, I really should have picked these up before I went and, uh, after that lady, but that's okay. That's okay. No harm, no foul. They can get them some new tires, and it'll be on the department either way, so. Alright, well. They got the lady, so that's good. Let's go ahead and jump back out on patrol, and we'll see what else we can find today. We got an emergency call about a possible crime scene. Drive there Crime scene? Heck yeah. Why not? Go ahead and do a 0 to 60. Launch! <laughs> that was one way to do it. The sounds kind of weird, but it works. <laughs> Alright, let's head to this crime scene. I got something else on my screen, like some type of return to victim. I think it might be like a wallet theft or something, but I never saw it. It was like on the other side of the city, so I wasn't worried about it, but... Let's go and head to this crime scene. Oh! You freaking idiot! Alright, well, I guess we're not going to be doing that. Are you out of your mind, lady, pulling out in front of me like that? I had a green light and it was turned into yellow. Surely she did not have a green left turn. Are you serious? I mean, are you serious? Accident apology, my butt. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I'm not. I'm not apologizing for that. You know what? You know, I'll just, just get out of here. All right, you can go now. Drive safe. That was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And now she's just gonna walk away. Oh. What's up, officer? Go screw yourself, lady. <laughs> go screw yourself. If you if you jaywalk, I'm giving you a ticket. I see that red crosswalk. Don't you don't you cross the street. I cannot believe that. I have a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? Oh my gosh. Truck will arrive at your location shortly, officer. All right, I don't I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in this car or not. Okay, there we go. And the tow truck, I guess is going to take the car. Or he's already got the car. The car disappeared and he's just confused, so he's just going to leave. Oh, he's just going to pick up an invisible car. Yeah. Uh, what the heck? Is he taking the van? <laughs> Why is he taking the van? That van didn't do nothing. There's a lady in it. There's a lady in it. There is a lady in the van. He just took a car with a human being inside. I'm literally witnessing a kidnapping. That poor lady. What the hell just happened? I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I can't go to that crime scene because I'm just not going to have enough time and my car is just absolutely totaled. So I, I don't I don't know what to say about that. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Wow, man. All right. Well, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. And uh, <laughs> good luck wiping that from your memories. Oh my gosh. Okay, well we're gonna just have somebody else respond to that call and uh, we're gonna go to the precinct, repair our car, and we'll go from there. You're taking too long. Another unit will take care of it. I really don't know what's going on with this game right now, but this lady is just standing on top of this I don't know what it is, like booth or like yeah, some type of booth. But look at that. What the heck is going on with these people? This world is going to crap, man. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> the craziest things are happening today. I've never in my life. Tow truck drivers are towing vehicles that really they shouldn't even have been towing to begin with. 
and then they're going and towing, towing it with people in the car, and then there's just people that are just randomly just standing on top of objects that they shouldn't be standing on top of. Just utterly insane, man. Alright, well, we've got callouts turned on. I just thought that would be interesting. I wanted to throw that in the video because I, I haven't seen a glitch that bad in a while. You know what? Let's just let's just do that. We don't just transport random people often, so let's just go and transport this guy. I guarantee you, he's out in front of a police station. Because the last episode, no, no, I don't think maybe maybe it was the last episode, the last couple episodes, one of the last few episodes. Uh, there was somebody that was right outside the precinct, and they called for a transport unit. And I thought it was hilarious. This person is not. Uh, in front of a precinct, though. They're not far from one, but they're not across the street from one like in the last episode, so. Thank you for taking over. Anytime, man. Anytime. I'm deep in this case right now. Alright, well, let, before we even begin to put her in our car, let's go ahead and search her. I need to do a search on you to see if you're carrying anything illegal. Other officer probably did it, but this happens all the time where, you know, multiple officers search before they put them in their car. It's just standard practice. You want to make sure that whoever you're putting in your vehicle has been searched and they don't have anything illegal on them because if it gets left in your car, then you're responsible for it and you don't want that. So let's go I'm ahead and take her into precinct. the precinct. Wait, I just remembered. I can't <laughs> transport anybody in this car, man. <laughs> Why did I think I could transport somebody? Can I put her in the trunk? Here, can I can I stick you in the back of the trunk here? I just just I'll stick you on the hood and I'll strap you down. <laughs> Crap! I didn't even think about that. Never even crossed my mind. I guess that's one bad thing about this vehicle. I can't transport anybody in it. I didn't even think about that. And to be honest, just thinking about this, we had that accident in the the first uh, call this episode I had three arrestees and I was sitting there thinking like maybe I could take one in but no I couldn't take anybody in not thinking I didn't have any room for them so that's kind of stupid all right backup well requested to take a suspect into custody I repeat back up this poor lady Copy that. The, the other officer didn't want to take her in location. I don't want to take her in or I can't take her in and now we got a third officer coming <laughs> I'm sorry lady I'm sorry okay oh my gosh just the pure stupidity sometimes. Alright, right. well there's a guy over there doing graffiti. So I think I'm going to go stop him. I don't really do just random stuff like this often. If you guys like seeing this where I just go and randomly just do stuff and don't take calls, uh, let me know because it's... it's it, oh, he's running! You son of a bitch, you're going to run. He knows what he's doing. He saw the lights. You can run, but you can't hide. Stop right here. Get out. My oh man, you're gonna get tased. You're gonna get tased. Hands up! Ride the lightning. Put your freaking hands up, dude. Arrest you for fleeing. You've resisted law enforcement orders. I have to arrest you. Please cooperate and move to the sidewalk. You're a terrible cop. Well, you're a terrible criminal, man. You ran out in plain sight. You didn't even go down an alley or anything. You just decided to run right down the street where I could easily just drive ahead of you and stop you. <laughs> I will proceed with the search. Oh my Please gosh. Go this game is insane sometimes. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's see what you got on you, man. A handgun and half an ounce of marijuana. All right. Well, let's get your ID. You show me your ID, please. After we get his ID, I want to escort him off before Here's I start charging ID. him. Take it. I am going to take it. Okay, no gun permit, so we'll be charging him for that as well. He also had those spray cans too, which you know we already saw him doing the. I'm taking you to. The we already saw him station. doing the graffiti, so it's not like I needed any more evidence. But you know that, that that's just uh, another point in our book. So, all right, let's go and stop him here. Sidewalk works too. Thank you, sir. Let's go ahead and start charging you first and foremost. And gun. The reason you're under arrest is because you're carrying a gun. And then we'll go and give him some tickets. Permit. You're a terrible cop. Uh, you're a terrible criminal. <laughs> All right, let's give him some tickets. We'll give him a ticket for graffiti and vandalism. I'm issuing you a ticket for graffiti vandalism. That will be around four hundred to one thousand dollars. I don't have that much money. Well, you should have thought about that before you go in and graffiti in the walls, man. All right. Well, we're gonna. Just go ahead and call a transport for I you. I need some backup here. 
to take a suspect into custody. Understood. We're sending the closest. Actually, I could have walked location. him over to the precinct. Isn't there a jail somewhere? I see it's like 40. It's on the other side of the street, actually. So. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, well since I can't take anybody in, we're going to end the episode right here. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop us a like down below. Hit the subscribe button for future episodes. If you guys did enjoy this uh, vehicle as well, let me know guys, because I'll definitely try and do it in the future. It's definitely a fun car. It's got a lot of good features to it. It's fast, and you know, the 0-60 to 60 on it with that little speed boost is absolutely insane too. I love it in this skin. Um, if you guys want to see it in a different skin, I'd like to do an unmarked patrol with it. Uh, so you guys let me know if you guys like to see that too. Or if you have any other suggestions, definitely let me know as well. But yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.